Ben Robb put up a mighty effort in the first round of the Auckland Dance Masters against the wizard Simon Whitlock, who had to work very, very hard. Could have took out to a two-leg lead, then finally took it back in leg like number nine to go five, four up. And you look at the numbers, Rod Harrington, very, very even match. But uh, look at the 100-plus uh, success by Ben Robb. He certainly did not look phased out here in the hockey. No, I thought he looked very confident. He had a little bit of a swagger about him, which is confidence. But he took out the 101, he took a 124, and then missed the 101 to clinch the match. Simon, very, very lucky. Yes, it, was, it could have been his second 101 checkout, but the, the big clutch ninth leg, I thought, was important for Simon Whitlock as he goes through to be our first quarterfinal 6-5 over Ben Robb. Coming up, it's the world champion Rob Cross up against John Hurry. Now, Rob Cross, his World Series has been OK so far beaten finalists twice so what do we expect in leg number one here in Auckland I, th I think we're going to see a very consistent game from from Rob Cross he's the world champion he's going to come up here and play his own game he's not going to get embroiled into anything um, he needs to get out of the gate quick as seen in that first match you know you get these qualifiers get in front of you they can be problems but Rob Cross very experienced Got a heavy scoring ability, so I expect to win. Ah, but keep your on the second Cantabrian coming up in leg number one, night number one of the Auckland Darts Masters. Well, if you want to proof that these Kiwi underdogs have got some bark and then we just saw it from the great Ben Rob match, uh, just going down by one. And I guess you now start to think that the $10 on John, John Hurring is maybe worth a fiver. Rob Cross, though, the number one seed, the current world champion, a dollar three. We do expect him to take this out relatively comfortably, but maybe a Kiwi win is on the card somewhere. So a Kiwi pushed the first, a big opponent in leg number one. Now we'll see if a Kiwi can push another one in the second match on day one of the Auckland Dance Masters. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Auckland, New Zealand. Yes, welcome to the Auckland Darts Masters presented by TAB and Burger King. And we're delighted to have the thousands of viewers joining us here live and the millions joining us around the world as we welcome our players. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome from New Zealand as he makes his TV debut, it's John Hurry! gentlemen from England a two-time World Series finalist the winner of four PDC ranking events ladies and gentlemen he is the reigning champion of the world What a treat for all of us here tonight. The reigning world champion up against the Cantabrian, John Hurring. It's Rob Cross, Hurring, and the call from Rod Harrington and Stuart Pike.
Well, we just saw, I'm sure New Zealanders will think, Ben Robb robbed against Simon Whitlock. What a chance he had for an upset in the opening match. And what chance are an upset here. Uh, John Hurring plays the world champ, Rob Cross, and Rob Cross is the number one seed here in Auckland this weekend. The seedings are worked out on uh, World Series performances alone, and, of course, Rob Cross reached the finals in both uh, Las Vegas and Shanghai. But John Hurring, uh, another debutant, another New Zealand debutant in the World Series, and a 33-year-old... Uh, from Christchurch on the South Island with a chance to shine against the world champion. Uh, but yes, he was very close, wasn't he, Ben Robb? And you can see Simon Whitlock was very, very relieved. But it, it is good to see new faces, new Kiwi faces in the World Series. Well, uh, still, I was very impressed with Ben Robb. I thought he looked cool. You know, it didn't get phased by the crowd and the big stage. And, you know, being a late replacement like that, you think you're coming in, uh, you know, all to play for. Um, but he he should have won it in the end. He had that done a double 16 for the 101. But what that would have done to the other seven qualifiers, you know, it would have, the ripple effect would have gone through there thinking, do you know what? We can have one of these pros out of here tonight. And uh, Whitlock was very lucky. Sensational World Championship beating Michael Van Gerwen and Phil Taylor in the semi-finals and the final. You're in darting dreamland, and all of a sudden you've got to start 90 producing it. Great expectations, and it doesn't always happen, does it? The people that win majors on TV have built up to it, you know, years of playing in the game. Well, the year before, Rob Cross was on the Challenge Tour. He won his tour card by winning the Challenge Tour. So, it, you know, it comes as a big surprise to all of us. Um, and that just knocked him, knocked his routine out. Oh, routine out. Of course, now he's got that World Championship title on his back. Everybody is gunning for him. Even the other pros are going, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to teach you a lesson. I'm going to beat the World Pro. All these qualifiers want the title on their no, back, but they've beaten the World Championship, and so all that extra pressure has been on this man. He has been a, a marked man. Oh, good visit though. Might just be enough to to save his throw here unless Hurring can find treble 19 and a ball. He's got the treble 19. He wasn't too far away on the ball either. Single 13 for double 16 is the way that Rob Cross will always go. Double 16 is where he likes to be. And that's why one mil. Dart at the ball from the New Zealander. Well, it was the setup shot, Stuart, that uh, won that leg for him. If he'd only hit one treble in them previous three, then he would have been up against it. As Hurry would have come back to the ball with two darts at double eight, but the two treble twenties, uh, the two treble nineteens from Rob Cross uh, certainly marked that first leg for him. One hundred. It certainly has been tough for, for Cross to have that one tournament win so far, but reached the finals, as we said, in oh, Las Vegas, the US Darts Masters, and in Shanghai, losing on both occasions to Gary Anderson and to Michael Smith. 59. No, but for Cross, he's just experiencing things in his chosen career that a year or so ago, he could only have, have dreamt about. Jeez, World Lord. champion by right, opening all sorts of doors, all sorts of opportunities with the Premier League and the World Series and... 140. I'm not sure it was rubbish, Rob. No, he's saying rubbish there because he knows he's pulling that last dart. And it, it happens quite a lot in his throw of light. It did last week in that World yeah, Match play, especially the game he lost, and uh, just moves his shoulder into that action, which makes the, the wrist overreact, and instead of the fingers going forward, they 
the hand pulls down. And that's why that dart is going low at times. It's minor, but uh, it, it can be a big problem. Well, saved by the last dart. Yeah, but if Hurring can set this up, Stu, he could put some pressure on. Rob Cross may already come back with one dart at the double on his return. So one treble is needed. Look at that treble 18. 81. Might have been caught in two minds there, Hurring with his last dart. But we know that Cross will leave 20 for double 18. Should get a dart at the ball at worst. He had a dart at the ball to win the first leg. He's got a dart at the ball to win the second leg. This time, no mistake. It's so cool about it. Well, we're running to the second leg of the second match. And already the qualifiers are the guys that are taking out the big shots. 101 in that first leg. And this is a 180, and it's unlucky. Yes, in the first match, two ton plus checkouts. Missed the third to win the match. And then Hurring has taken out a 90. So just a little tap on the shoulder for the professionals. Rob Cross already lost his throw here. How about this? 125. Yeah, ben Robb of New Zealand losing out 6-5 to Simon Whitlock after missing a match dart. Here, the world champion 59. with a lot of work to do against a 33-year-old from Christchurch, John Hurring, came through the qualifiers at Invercargill. Beat the experienced Rob Zabo and Warren French, and then actually beat Ben Robb in the final to earn his spot here in Auckland. A better release, a better action from Rob Cross. That's the first 180 of the night. Don't forget here in New Zealand, if there are 80 180s, in the tournament and starting on Sunday, thanks to Burger King. A double cheeseburger, $2.15, a triple cheeseburger, $3.50. Double 18 for Rob Cross! Well, 180, 150, that's what he can do. Yes, and it should settle him down. Let's check out of the evening so far. And do you know what he had to do it? I mean, Hurin was had the advantage. He was a hundred in front going to the board. Just hit three bare twenties to leave one seven six. Which you think, well, he may get a dart of the double in a couple of throws time, but no one eighty. And then the check out on the double eighteen for the world champion. Some good darts we've seen, really have. Already, 42. Yeah, next weekend it's the Melbourne Darts Masters, and then the first ever Brisbane Darts Masters. Two 32. more weeks in Australia to come, and then the World Series Finals in the autumn in Austria, in Vienna, after three years in Scotland, in Glasgow. 100. All three World Series finals won by Michael van Gerwen. Rob Cross, you can see, really throws the darts, doesn't he, into the, into the board, but... 
for, for his opponents. Very much a touch player, isn't it? Floats them in. Yeah, he's got a higher rainbow on his darts than Rob Cross. 65. Rob Cross again is in trouble here. One treble is not going to be enough. Now, the first leg he won, he set up the shot absolutely beautiful. Previous leg he hit the 180 to set up. 96. One treble may not be enough, so Hurin. Look at the treble 19. Now treble 18. What he mustn't do is miss a big number. He's got to hit the big numbers if he doesn't hit the treble. Do you know what? A very big 20 is not a bad die. Yeah. Four, two ways of going. Four 16s or four treble 20s. Four 20s. Treble 20 will lift him double 18. So Hurin's coming back 16. to level it up at two legs apiece. Now if he's going to miss this first dart, it's got to be just above it. Oh, straight in the corner. And we have another match on our hands here. The world champion, Rob Cross, is being pushed. Yeah, it's good to see. There's been a lot of talk around to mention the hotel and the venue. There is going to be an upset here on the opening night. 121. Very nearly came in that opening match through Ben Robb against Simon Whitlock. What I've, what I've enjoyed oh, seeing, actually, is, is, is Rob and Hurring here. They, they, they just seem to be enjoying it. You know, and it's quite that, often I, in the World Series we see players go up and they are rabbits in the headlights, but they, they're enjoying it, having it. a bit of fun and giving it a real go. Absolutely, and you can see that in their demeanour. You know, Ben Rob, I mean, he had a, a, you know, like a little bit of an arrogance, and it isn't an arrogance, that's confidence. 16. That's what you see in top sportsmen. And that's confidence made him play extremely well. And I spoke to Simon as he walked off the stage and he said, how lucky was I? I just, just said, extremely. 60. But Cody Harris, who I possibly think is the, the best player out of the qualifiers. Got the worst draw. <laughs> Absolutely, oh, got the worst draw. Four. One of the worst draws, Harris will play Van Gerwen a little later on. Look how low those darts were, Stu. You know, he made up for it the third, but the first two darts are very low. A little bit of a tight, tight action from the world champion. I just wonder whether he puts pressure on himself. I think he does sometimes, you know, because he's that, he's that type of guy. He's very unassuming, isn't he? And this would be a beauty. Go on then, Rob. That was just to hold his throw, the shot at the ball for a 170. Oh, and he's just overpitched this one a little bit. No, it's overpitched too much. 52. Oh, Very important leg here for Cross. Hold on to his throw, take a 3 2 lead. His finishing has been pretty good. Five legs, all one on throw. One hundred and forty. That's just the difference, you know, hurrying there. It kicks off with a real nice 140, but it's not followed it up. What he has to do is keep the pressure on. Easy for me to sit here and say, but that's how you beat the professionals. That's how you put the pressure on them. You turn it around. Do you really think there's a little, there is a little flaw in, in Rob Cross's throw at the moment? Well, do you know, to be quite honest, I think everybody's got a minor flaw, but definitely we've been speaking about it for a while with Rob Cross. He has a lot of darts that come in low, and that's his, his wrist on release is pulling down Ooh, instead of just in. nice and easy. It may be that he's, he's just a little bit tense, and that's what's causing it. 
but certainly he's having an awful lot of darts to go low and that's just not tonight that's been you know for a little while 145 well excellent from the Kiwis left 56 after 12 and the world champion is being pushed every step of the way as was Simon Whitlock the world number seven in the opening game tops them double ten for three apiece well if he's gonna miss that was the best miss he could do was on the outside he doesn't want to start chasing the five straight away he's a long way ahead of cross here well, let's just put a little bit of pressure on hurry now if you're gonna miss just put it on the outside that's pretty good click that barrel it should bounce it in he's found the double ten and that gives it a three on the match with the world champion and the pressure is on for the second match on the trot for these professionals 59 and these two from the first match and here hurrying are the newcomers Double 16 in the very last leg to beat Simon Whitlock. Oh, He'll probably have a few points on that for quite a while in his local bar. Well, hurrying here. He's trying to give the world champ the hurry up. 140. Still pressure on cross on his own throw. may get nine darts from this 259 staying up there oh, that's not helping. No. needs to find a big treble 59. which he hasn't done so it opens up the door for cross to just set this up you can't take it out now four 19s will help out 58. Well, I'll tell you what, that could have caused Rob Cross a problem. Yep. Because he's only going to get possibly one dart at a double. Appreciate if he hits the treble 18, it'll be two at 12s. Well, that one dart there. Uh, having the single one. Was handing the leg back, it seems, to Rob Cross. We shall see. Yep, 4 3 it is. Seven Game legs all won. On throw. Padar on the. There we have it. Back in the red bin again. 100. You can see, you know, he, when he has that dart that's really low, he knows it. He's telling himself off for doing it. This is not a time for hurrying. Well, he's hit that treble. So all he's got to do is find one treble in every end of this match, Stu. That's when the pressure are on the seeded players. 96. Well, coming up, Michael Smith against Mark McGrath. Smith won the World Series event in Shanghai been playing exceptionally well this year made the final of the Premier League early part of the year well, that was good thinking actually from Cross he just wanted to make sure he, he left to finish which is why he went high with the last dart but tops here for hurrying for four all 60 Will he take it out 150? 
certainly at the World Championship, he was the king of the big finishes at the Ali Pali. Well, the previous leg that Hurring won was on this double ten. He put the first up just on the outside. Pretty much where that one was. And folds it up. Dart number two finds the double ten. We have a match here at four legs apiece. Hurring is up against the world champion, and he's pushing him. 95. John Stewart is a dart player, you know, Hurring will be saying, just give me a 12 dart leg, will you please give me a 12 dart leg? And that's a good start. Oh, <laughs> Pressure on the champion of the world 41. against a 33-year-old unknown from New Zealand, of which he was to the wider world audience. 21. I think that was a sign, OK, from first Murray sign, thinking... First sign. Yes. Yeah. Thinking, get ahead of himself. I've got a chance, yeah. yes. Just, he's got to focus. Just keep the, the arm straight, down the line, as the cricketers would say it. Stu, just keep it down the line, keep it nice and straight. Do you know what? Those in the know in New Zealand reckon that, that Hurring could be very, very good. He's only started taking the sport seriously for the last couple of years. And it's reaping its rewards. 96. Another important travel with the last dart from Rob Cross, but maybe six darts from here for Herring, I wonder. Yeah, but he needs another one of those. Oh, and is that touching? Mind you, nine points is not going to be enough. George G Noble... George Noble it, having a look. Yes, even if that's just touching, it counts. It doesn't have to be right into the dartboard, just touching the bristle, which it is now. Rob Cross here, one treble, May not be enough, Stu, because if he re if he returns, he may only get one dart at the bullseye. But two one of them, what a great two darts that was one from Rob Cross. Magnificent. Looks like he's done enough with those two darts to hold on to his throw again. 85. Let's see. Two darts. Now there's pressure. 34. Big pressure. 66. Hurring will not get a better chance to win a leg against the throw. He's going to have two darts at double 18. Mm. Only needs the one. Rob Cross misses two darts. One at tops, one at tens. However, it's Hurring who takes out the 66, Hello, takes the lead against the throw and steps up. Game on to throw first against the world champion. Well, well, well. This well. would be, Steve. Yeah. We saw Ben Robb a millimetre away from victory in the first Ooh. match against Simon Whitlock. And you know, I don't care who you are, in the leg that you need to win to win the match, you go for the 100, absolutely perfect. Mind you, what a return that was from Rob Cross. A real tension. Cross trying to break Kiwi Hearts for a second consecutive match. Don't forget, the New Zealander hasn't won at the Auckland Darts Masters. 139. And this is the fourth year we've been here. Rob came very close. How close is Hurring going to get? That's unlucky. Yes, and he rushed it a little bit. Six darts minimum from here. 85. Minimum of a 140. Bit of both, isn't that? I think Hurring was looking at the 
the winning post, but Rob Cross has responded brilliantly here. Under pressure, double 12. Easy fight. He'll still come back looking at double six for a 13 data to force another last leg decider. He will do, Steve, but if Harring can hit a time, which he has done, 100. now Rob Cross will be thinking, don't Harry go inside Martin. with the first dart. He's going to miss, he's got to be on the outside. He's hit it already once, and that's why that's so far on the outside. And now double three. Oh, that is a class dart. It may only be double three. <laughs> that could be the match winning dart. That has got him out of jail big time. Yep. And he knows it. And here he goes again, and it's as if. 140. The shackles are off for Rob Cross. You feel here that if Hurring is going to cause an upset, he's going to have to win it in 12 darts. 140. Do you know, I've been so impressed yeah, with, with both both Rob and... Uh, yeah, Ben Rob and Harry. I mean, they've just... And they may both end up losing in last leg deciders. 140. Yes, but they are playing the best players in the world, the players that are up on that big stage week in, week out. They're the ones with the experience. What a time to hit your first maximum of the match. Quite incredible. Last leg decider. We've seen Cross hit 140, 140. Easy one. We've seen Hurring hit 140, 180. Cross has left a finish. But Hurring will be saying six darts from this. Exactly six darts. Oh, that. 123. Oh, yeah. Well, he normally goes 254s, and he's not going to take it out. He beat Phil Taylor in the World Championship final by taking out 140. Doesn't do it this time. Hurring's going to get two darts, a double top, to be the world champion. Can't get any closer. Well, uh, you cannot get any closer. Unbelievable. Unbelievable for New Zealand darts as Rob Cross pitches the win. He can't believe it. We saw Ben Rob miss a match dart to beat Simon Whitlock in the first game of the Auckland Darts Masters. Well, John Hurring can hardly believe he had two darts at tops to take out the world champ and somehow Cross wins. Well, what a start to the night. So, so close for the key.